Assalamualaikum and hi guys We are from AP 229 D2C Today we are going to talk about a very interesting topic which title and effective meeting So in this video we will discuss what is the effective meeting What is benefit that can be gained from effective meeting And how to achieve an effective meeting Please pay a close attention as this video will give you some useful tips. Please welcome Mr. Zohairi to the stage. Thank you, Ms. Azira. Effective meeting. A meeting can be defined as a collaborative work process designed to answer the who, why, how, and what a particular objective. An effective meeting serves a useful purpose. This means that in it, you achieve a desired outcome for a meeting to meet this outcome or objective. You have to be clear about what it is. Effective meetings and real value to companies. They produce ideas, give direction, strengthen bonds and renew wiggle. At the same time, business cannot devote endless resources. The key is making sure essential people are invited at the appro appropriate time and in appropriate space. Direct interaction towards a common purpose and end with a clear action plan. An effective meeting only occurs when people leave a meeting feeling energized, positive about the use of their time and with a sense that progress has been made. Effective meetings can assist you to generate ideas, plan work, keep your people informed and assist with doing work. However, when meetings are poorly planned and managed, they become an unwanted distraction that alienates people and they fall short of achieving their state purpose. There are many reasons to have a meeting. Some of more common reasons are communication or information sharing, team building and sharing work status. Meetings are gatherings in which a agenda is clearly defined. The meeting is carefully structured and the participants arrive organized and prepared for the event. Goal for an effective meeting should include starting and ending on time, addressing all agenda item in full and summarizing the result of the meeting for all participants. Meetings are an effective way to bring people together to increase communication effectiveness, collaboration and to achieve Results. Meetings result in far more effective communication than either email or teleconference. This is true because 55% of the meaning and feeling associated with a message is delivered through facial expression and non-verbal signals. Email is effective in communicating only 7% of the true meaning and feeling of a message and teleconference communication only 38%. Please welcome Ms. Azira to the stage. Thank you, Mrs. Zahiri. My first point is to achieve an effective meeting we have to obtain written agenda in advance before starting a meeting. 
Discussion on a topic with the agenda rarely end on a productive note. Starting a meeting with an agenda might turn the meeting into an unproductive talk, which might lead to lost focus and interest. Once you have a purpose, you will need to construct an agenda that will meet that state purpose. If you start with an agenda, a point from list of topic can be discussed truly and all the issue that may raise will be solved on the spot. You have to make sure that the material is provided to the employees at least one day before meeting so that they can make some research for the meeting and they are fully aware what will be discussed. For better results, Provide background information on the agenda so that everyone attends has the same information. Generally, you put the more urgent and important item at the beginning of the agenda and at least important things at the, at the end. Having an agenda meeting in advance can help the employees to be well prepared. The meeting can be conducted smoothly without any miscommunication. Hi. What are you doing? I was finishing my work. I've got so many. No wonder you seem so busy. Hey, do you know about our upcoming meeting? Have you prepared anything for it? What? Meeting? Yes. But I didn't get any memo. What? I thought they have distributed all the agenda for the meeting. You didn't get any? No. Oh, it seems confusing. Second point is manage the meeting by clock. Time is precious and no one wants their time waste. To have an effective meeting, we must manage the meeting by the clock. If you have responsibility to for running a regular meeting, you have a reputation for being someone who start and end on time. People appreciate it when you understand their time is valuable. Watch. Watching the clock is important in an effective of managing time. It is easy to become careless and confused. It is easy for an effective meeting to become out of control and consume too much time without delivered result for the time invested. Right on time. Do not penalize the people who were there on time by waiting for the idol who are late. Assume that the late comers is not coming at all and get right on with the meeting. If someone comes in late and find out they are missing important information, refuse to start over for them. They will eventually get the message to be more punctual. Leadership is an investment in people. Putting the effort into planning and running each of your meeting is one way that you can show that you believe other people's time is important and that you respect their time. My third point is getting response from other employees about the agenda. Once the agenda is prepared, you must distribute it to the employees and get their feedback and input. It's very important that you get input from everybody. Not only the people who have a lot to contribute, but also from those who are more shy and less speak. Running a meeting is not a dictatorial role. You have to be participating from the start. Just voice out any as a disagreement, perhaps there is some things important that the team members has to add. Please welcome Miss Naziha to the stage. Thank you, Miss Azira. Do you know that an effective meeting is correlated with a company or an organization performance? Well, many people are unaware of the importance 
of an effective meeting as they feel burdened to be locked in a room for several hours. They will take the meeting slightly as they will lose their interest during the meeting. But this phenomenon should be changed quickly. Well, here are some of my reasons why an effective meeting would boost a company performance. Firstly, it can solve conflicts and issues that may arise. Conflicts and problems or misunderstood will always arise within a team. For sure, these little arguments will negatively affect the way the employees performing their daily tasks as they might feel stressed with the problem that may occur. A properly managed meeting will be a platform to the team member to share their problems and express their thoughts regarding a matter. Every matter will be discussed truly during that meeting so that there will be no more misunderstood that will arise. Every problem must be taken seriously by the leader to ensure their workers' performance and morale are at the best condition. Once a resolution is reached, a carefree working environment can be created. Thus, the staff can give a full commitment to their works. A very productive result will be the will be produced at the end of this effective meeting. So, for my second opinion, I think a better decision can be made through an effective meeting. A good leader should realize that every employee's voices and opinion should be considered during a decision-making process. A decision taken will be discussed truly during that meeting by considering all the pros and cons. They also should minimum the risk taken when a decision is made. This will create a situation that we call check and balance. Check and balance procedure is important to make sure that the leader is not making a decision that is good to himself. Apart from that, a major decision will not work if a company member does not understand why it is being made. But when they understand the importance of a decision, they will push themselves to achieve that goal. For an example, if a new work etiquette or a new regulation is introduced, they will follow it willingly as they know that will give them a benefit in a long time. But when they are not clear about a decision, they will find it is hard to do it and they will whine about it. A whiner does not give any benefits to the company. They will spend their day by whining over a small and petty problems. So, for my third point, the team member actually can realize their importance if an effective meeting is conducted. Project goals are always discussed in a meeting. As a team leader, you can explain and highlight to each of the team members about how their work performance will contribute to the overall goal. Emphasize the importance of the correct work practice. This will motivate the employee's morale to do better. And for sure, they will be more determined to achieve all the target goals. Maybe the leader also can remind the staff on how important the projects to the company, give some rewards to the staff who give full commitment and work hard in doing their tasks. When the tasks and goals are clear, employees are more motivated to work as they realize their contribution to the company performance.